time, no bubbles. Disappointed. Comes together with short Type C charging cable. Tiny bubbles, but they don't pop. Oh, Ooh, finally, some kind of enjoyment. Oh. What is this? Power on in three, two, one. Oh, 360 in every direction. This is high, medium, low, and turning off. And when you hold the button, it will activate the front white light. This is high, low, and turning off. Goes right here, okay, like a hat and it will be a lantern take a look and what it says 2.2 watts 450 milliampers is that healthy oh. easily Can I pull? Oh, oh! I I got feeling like I'm removing the nuclear reactor. Very carefully and gently. And take a look at those LED filaments. Oh, oh. Take a look at that. The model of this 3.7 volts battery is 14500 and it says it's 500 milliampers. Working, yes. Warm light. It's beautiful. It looks like a lantern when you add this cap on the top, like, like this beautiful with hook and everything it's practical of course for camping hiking outdoor beautiful okay this is the smallest OLED screen I ordered it and of course I got it no bubbles are they mad at the factory to ship without bubbles, this thing can be broken very easily. Oh. It's tiny OLED screen with driver, of course, and four pins. The OLED 64 by 32 pixels refers to a type of compact display with a resolution of 64 by 32 pixels using organic light emitting diode OLED technology. A tiny OLED display is placed on ESP32 development board. Also with the driver. Let's see the first code. Okay, what it says? Press the button for a saying. When you press the button, it's scrolling and a random choose a saying. Love yourself first. Inside the memory, inside the code, there are 30 sayings and the microchip will randomly choose one with scrolling effect. Take a look when you press the button. Only day at one day at time. The future is bright. And here it is, the code uploaded to the Arduino board. And what is this? It's a stopwatch. 
maximum that can measure is 60 minutes and when you press the button it start counting with the second pressing of the button you pause the, the stopwatch and when you hold it will reset to zero using only one button crazy starting the stopwatch I can pause and I can reset this is beautiful it's the most popular game snake take a look with using only one button you can control the worm to eat fruits but this one is lit oh I can get it yes it's beautiful love it all the codes you can download for free in description below as I said and also there will be all Aliexpress links for both products the OLED screen itself and the ESP32 development board with OLED screen And in the middle we have five LEDs for indicating the working lines for example CC, data plus, data minus this is power supply positive and ground plug in the power cable where it says power in and nothing happens right here and the other on type C and take a look we have four lights meaning that, that the cable is okay and yes take a look when you move the connector one of the LEDs is flashing let's do it this way yes the ground the connector is bad alright positive power supply and positive yes we have a continuity great it's a simple board module that you can use to test your cables for one dollar from Aliexpress once again no bubbles what is happening PCB modules Whoa. and they are so tiny it's 14 millimeters by almost 11 14 by 11 chip it says 223B or JL2517J what Mr. Google fa find for me the TTP223B integrated circuit is a single channel capacitive touch sensor chip that replaces traditional mechanical buttons providing a digital output signal in response to a human touch or proximity okay let's place but take a look when you touch it without touching the distance for activating the module is maybe five millimeters without touching so using this chip capacitive touch sensor chip that replaces traditional mechanical buttons you can control uh, let's say like this four relay mo module switch take a look just with touching I am activating the relay and on that relay I can attach a bigger load I got it Finally, bubbles. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful. A small instruction manual, wire and diagram. Okay.
six, seven. Turn on on seven volts, but the but the bar graph it's not working. Let's check the USB. Does it give five volts at seven volts? Yes, the USB ports are giving five volts at seven volts input, but the bar graph it's not. Turn it on. Let's increase the voltage. Whoa, 9.8 volt, and we have two red lines. Twelve point one, twelve point six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen volts, and we, the bar graph is fully with that red at green lines. All right, third row, one point nine amperes, and it's holding at five volts. The USB port is doing a great job. And take a look, two point five amperes, and the voltage stays at 5 volts and that is great also on the power supply it says that, it, that we are pulling 16 watts and at 12 volts 1.3 amperes the link will be in description below so you can check it and that this is a great find on aliexpress and it's cheap but useful for diy projects and i love that bar graph with red and green Bubbles. All right. For those who don't know, this is the peer motion sensor, and on this gadget we have input and output. The input DC voltage can be from 5 volts to 24 volts DC voltage, and from the other side you can hook up, let's say, a LED strip, but the maximum will be. 3 amperes. So if you put 5 volts, the output will be 5 volts. If you hook up a 12 volts, the output will be 12 volts, and you need to attach a LED strip that works on 12 volts. I have a 9 volt power adapter. I'm gonna plug in where it says input. Alright, there is no LED indicator that is working, and the LED strip I will plug in to the other side. Reset, start now, okay? All right, it was around 20 seconds. And the output voltage is 8.93. Can you hear it? DC 8.93 Beautiful, beautiful. All right. We have the potentiometer, two DC jacks, one for input, one for output, and the multimeter is turned off. It has an auto shutdown timer. And take a look, only one small, what is this, a transistor maybe, all right. And as I said, it has a sensor for detecting a light, so will work only at night. All right, a nice gadget, I like it, and it's cheap, and will be useful in one of my rooms. to assemble. Beautiful. Bubbles.
as you can see some of the parts need to be assembled the front and the back panel I have the instruction manual the screws you can choose red or blue we have USB input right here you can also plug in micro USB connector right here this is bug boost converter step up step down and the voltage will be displayed right here on this LED display we have two buttons what it says we, okay we have two LEDs the first LED indicates power on the second LED is for constant current indication we have two multi-turn potentiometer for adjusting the voltage and the current Take a look how beautiful looks this gadget. With that blue color and everything assembled with the front and back panel. This is art, beautiful art. I like gadgets like this one. Okay, let's plug in in 3, 2, 1. And yes, working fine. It's beautiful rechargeable digital multimeter with auto function and on the USB power gadget right here we have the output on these terminals and what it says it says 30 volts exactly but right here we have 29.8 volts it's close it's good power on and the, drop, the voltage drop because the constant current is powered on indicating with the LED I'm gonna give more amps with the multi-turn potentiometer constant current little bit more 2 6 volts I think yes 6 volts and it's pulling 920 milliampers watts 5.5 watts 6 volts to test the short protection yes working great take a look all right i have dc input voltage of 5 volts and output of 30 volts okay this go right here it, whoa opposite okay and yes and this LED chip is pulling 0 0.04 amperes at 30 volts this LED chip works on 36 volts what is pulling 1.1 watt at 29.7 volts what do you think please tell me in the comments about this USB power DC to DC converter input 5 to 12 volts output from 0 0.5 to 30 volts 15 watts maximum with adjustable voltage adjustable 